Hello everyone, I'm Freaky and welcome to the video. My friends, when it comes to Minecraft, you can do all sorts of things in Minecraft. Building things, going on adventures, collecting things, and facing off against mods. And when it comes to mods, I'm talking about the ones that want to come and get you. You have the variants of zombies, the skeletons, the wither skeletons, the silverfish, the phantoms, those jumping jello thingies, the blaze, those hoglin things, and so on and so on. And also, Minecraft's most iconic monster, the creeper which blows up in your face. And all these mobs are coming after you. And when you defeat them, you either get rotten flesh or bones, gunpowder, one from spiders, etc, etc, etc. And you know what? These drops can be very useful. You can sell the rotten flesh to an alchemist. You can save up the gunpowder for various things like rockets or TNT. You can use the bones to tame a wolf or use its marrow to grow things. Almost every single drop that mobs drop always have some use to them. It happens with sheep, cows, chickens, pigs, iron golems, etc, etc. Nearly every single mob in the game drops something when it dies from an attack. And most of them are useful, from armor that you can melt down, to totems, emeralds, and so on and so on. There are loads of drops that comes from mobs, including the big bosses, including the dragon and the wither. Now, when it comes to the wither and the dragon, they both drop something special. So, let's start off with the dragon. When you defeat the dragon, he drops loads and loads of XP. And also, you are able to pick up the egg and have it as a trophy. And having this egg proves that you've beaten the game of Minecraft. Yeah, it's not something that gives you a boost or it's a powerful weapon. It's just basically an ornament. An ornament that says, hey, this guy's beaten the game. He actually defeated the dragon. And you know what? Even though the dragon's egg is useless and it's basically an ornament to display, I don't actually mind it. I think it's a cool little ornament. But you know what? You know what would be cool? If we could actually at this thing and the dragon can fly us anywhere and also fight other mobs for us. I mean, come on, that would be an awesome update for Minecraft. I mean, come on, your own pet dragon and you can ride on it and it shoots fireballs. I mean, come on, you guys can't tell me that you don't want this. And you know what? I think it's something to think about in the future for an update. Instead of being an ornament, you can actually at this thing and then you get your own pet dragon. Come on, that'd be absolutely freaking sweet. So yeah, the dragon drops XP, and you've got your own dragon trophy ornament that tells everybody that you've actually beaten the dragon. I think it's a neat little ornament. Now, let's talk about the wither. Now, when it comes to the wither, I don't think he's as bad as the dragon. I mean, it depends on the person, but if it was me, I think I would rather face off against the wither than face off against the dragon. At the very least, you can actually choose the location of where you want to fight the wither. And you know what? I have been fighting the wither a lot. I think it's because I'm more cautious around the end because if you was to fall off the platform, you would lose all your gear. But anyways, yeah, I'm getting off track. Now for me, when it comes to the wither, I think he's my favourite monster that drops things. And not only that, if you use the wither in the right way, he can actually help you when it comes to mining. Like for example, you go down all the way to bedrock and you fight him down there. Like you fight him, you beat him, you fight him, you beat him, you fight him, you beat him. And you do this loads and loads of times, he'll destroy the blocks. And if you're lucky, you might be able to find some diamonds down there. Or gold or iron or so so Because the weather is doing all the mining for you. And if you have loads and loads of chickens around him and he's about to blow up or has blow up and all the chickens are around him, You'll get loads of feathers, loads of chicken to cook or sell, and most importantly, the wither roses. I mean, I've got loads and loads of stacks, by the way, how I've been playing it with the wither. But it isn't just the mining and the wither roses that you get from the wither, but it's also the wither star that the wither drops after he's been defeated. And these wither stars can be made into beacons, and these beacons can be very, very useful, especially if you make a mega beacon where it gives you all the benefits running fast, regeneration. Jumping higher, good defense, mining faster, stronger attack. But you have to defeat the wither six times in order to get the beacon. Well, you get the nether star six times and then you turn it into the beacons. And I fought the wither loads and loads of times, roughly somewhere around 40 times. Once you've gotten used to fighting the wither, it's just a walk in the park when you're facing off against him. And you know what? The beacon is so useful and it's fun, especially if you're using it for mining. Or in my case, I'm actually planning on getting around uh, six or eight mega beacons and putting them around my base so that way I can run faster, I can jump higher, I'll be stronger, I'll have a better defense, I'll be continuously regenerating. My base will be, well, my safe space. Gotta hate that word, safe space. But anyways, you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, the dragon and the wither do drop some really good stuff. The dragon drops a trophy and the wither drops a powerful star. And you know what? Both of them are really good. Almost every mob drops something that you can use. But there is one mob or boss in the game of Minecraft 
That is the most powerful boss in the game, and that is the Warden. I mean, the Warden is scary, and with just one hit, he can just take you down. And it was said by the creators that the Warden should be avoided at all costs. But here's the thing, what if I wanted to fight against the Warden? What if I wanted to defeat the Warden? I mean, yeah, I have seen videos with people tricking the Warden into going down a hole that is full of golems, and they are the ones who finish him off. So really, if you want to use strategy in order to defeat the, the Warden, then you can do so. But let's just say, for example, that you want to face the Warden head on, or trick him going down a hole, or face him in one on one. And let's just say, for example, that you did defeat the Warden. What does the most powerful boss in Minecraft actually drop after when you've defeated it? A boss that has a freaking laser, and with just one strike, he can take you down, no problems. I mean, come on, that's even more faster than the Weather and Dragon combined. I mean, much, much more powerful than that. So, what does the Weather drop? A skull crystal, the same sort of one that you can get in the ancient city, and that's it. You get nothing cool as a reward if you was to beat the weather. It's just something that you can get anyways, that's already in the ancient city. And you know what? This was a disappointment. But at the same time, I know why they didn't give the warden anything cool to drop. And I think that reason is because, since the warden can't fly, I think it would be easy just to let the golems finish off the warden for you. I mean, when it comes to the dragon and the weather, the golems have a tough time actually reaching the dragon and the weather. But when it comes to the Warden, he can't fly. So it makes it a little bit easier to beat the Warden, even though one hit can guarantee a defeat. And you know what? It's really sad that the most powerful mod in the game doesn't drop anything cool. But let's just say, for example, that they decide to make the Warden fly and make the Warden drop something. What could that something be? And it has to be something useful. Well, I do have one or two ideas on what they could do if the Warden was defeated. And my number one idea is that the Warden drop something that can be crafted into something else and that something else can actually help you teleport from one place to another like for example if you was to defeat the warden two times you'll have two things that are linked to each other and you can have one at your base and you can have the other one that's far far away like maybe 20,000 blocks away from your base you could go to that place within seconds because you've got this thing that can teleport you from your base to the other place I mean, what's the next best thing after flying? Teleporting from one place to another within seconds. And if you ask me, I think something like that would be very, very useful when it comes to Minecraft. But the kicker is, it would be a 1 in 10 chance for the one to drop the teleporters. You know, just to make it a little bit harder. Or maybe it could be a, a once and only drop from the warden. I mean, come on. If we continuously gave players the ability to teleport anywhere, it would take the adventure out of Minecraft. So maybe it could be just... Okay, you can only go from A to B, and if you want to move one teleporter to another place, then you can do so. It would kind of be like the, the dragon's egg. You can only have one dragon's egg, and when it comes to the warden, you can only have two teleporters. You step on the mat, which is A, and it teleports you to teleporter B. And again, if they want to make it harder, they could make the warden fly in an update, just to make it harder. Because if you ask me, I think this is just a waste opportunity for the warden. I mean, come on, he is the strongest boss within the game. Or maybe they might do something with that big round circle thing that's at the center of the ancient city. Maybe it'll teleport us to another realm or something. Or, oh, maybe the warden is guarding that thing, you know, that big massive circle thing. And when new updates come along, it could be a teleporter that sends us to a realm where a new big boss lives. Maybe that's why he's called the warden. He's keeping guard that big massive circle thing. So we'll have to wait and see. But if this is the case, that the warden is guarding that big massive circle thing, that actually might be another realm that's keeping prisoner a big boss. And if that is the case, that there's going to be a new big boss within a, another dimension, and that big boss will drop something that might be worth our world. So if that is the case, I don't actually mind if the warden doesn't drop anything. But that's only if there is something coming up in the next few updates that revolves around that big massive circle. Again, maybe that's why he's called the Warden. He isn't just protecting the ancient city, he must be guarding that big massive circle thing. So, fingers crossed in the future that we're going to get something good. So, what do you guys think? Am I right or am I wrong? Do you think that big massive circle thing will lead to another dimension? Do you wish the Warden had a better drop? Please let me know in the comments section below and let's get a discussion going. I'm Freaky, peace out. And please don't forget to check out my other social medias. Please go and check out my alternative video platforms, Rumble, Odyssey, BitChute, Twitch, and please come and hang out on my Discord server. We can play games, have a movie night or a series night, or you can watch me play a few games. And if you guys have any suggestions of any videos you want me to react to, or any video ideas in general, you can tell me on my Discord. I'm also on Twitter, Gab, Getter, and Parler. I'm on Moguls, Tumblr, Minds, and if you guys want to support me, 
please go and check out my subscribe star. It's like Patreon, but better. All these things are in the description box below. So please go and check them out and subscribe to them. I'm Geek Freak. Peace out. Mm -hmm.